Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and of course, continuing on reviewing Christmassy films. And back with me, of course, Elijah. I'm, I'm here. Yes, now we are reviewing the second Prep and Landing uh, short film, which is, you know, Operation uh, Stuff Box, or, you, you know, and Operation Santa stuff, you know, however, I now forgot the title of it, but this this one, uh, the first the first sequel to Prep and Landing, this one's over seven minutes, and basically, like, I guess, uh, I'm trying to remember, because I, before we, rec before I started recording, like, I checked the description of it, and, um, basically, because, um, Mrs. Claus calls in, uh, Wayne and, uh, Lenny, is it Lenny or Lanny, do you remember? It's hard, Wayne and Lenny, Wayne and Lenny. Okay, well, uh, yeah, Wayne, but the other name, like, Lenny, okay, so Lenny. Wayne and Lenny are apparently called into Mrs. Claus's office to receive, to retrieve, like, a, a box or something in Santa's secret workshop, and if I recall, like, I think at one point, I think, it's either, I think it's Lenny who has a, a, a nightmare, like, a daydream where, you know, Santa puts them on the naughty list, and, we see Lenny in an, in an ice and an igloo, just, you know, like a prison or something, but that was just him daydreaming, and everything works out okay in the end, and yeah, again, it's hard to believe, because the first one being 20, like, over 22 minutes, and its second sequel, um, that was, that was over, you know, 22 minutes and such, but, you know, the one in the middle is over seven minutes, but, you know, I guess that's how it was and how, you know, how the short films turned out. But what what do you have to say about this the first uh, sequel and that it's over seven minutes long? Yeah, but, you know, well, thank you for in inviting me to the uh, conversation and discussion, as you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the reason why I'm discussing this situation because, you know, I, I, I saw the first short. It was a hit. You know, it wasn't like a big hit, like a blockbuster hit or something like that. But no. it was a hit. It was a hit. And, you know, people. I think the reason why they did a sequel because they love the characters and the characters are very interesting. And, and you know, it's Christmas time. And you know, I remember, I remember watching the sequel. But you know, it's you know, it's 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 based on the same concept to the first first uh, short. I wouldn't say first movie, but it's the four, first. Excuse me, first short. And basically. You got the same same characters is back and you know the same cast is back. Yeah. You got um Derek Richardson and Dave Foley but re continue to their roles. Re oh yeah. Re, re, re continue to their roles. I mean. Yes. And they're back. And I'm sorry. And they're back. And they're back to their characters and and you know I love the I love the first short and. I thought I thought it was pretty we're, good. We are talking about the second. Was, we're I, you said third one. We're talking about the second one. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm talking the first one, like the concept of it and the and the the huge umbrella thing, you know. And getting back, to, uh, getting back to that, like I said, but you know, it's this the sequel is like the first. It's it's not the first, but you know, it's the same concept to is based on the same concept to the first one, and you know, this is the sequel. This is the second one, and. You know, it sounds pretty. It, I know it sounds pretty relevant, but you know, I was, I was, I was like, man, this, this is really good, and I really do like it. I liked it a lot. I, I thought it was interesting. You know, and mm. it's a very interesting uh, short. But you know, I didn't know it was that long, as I remember. It, it feels like a movie in a way, you know, and and I thought in my head, this 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 should this should have been a movie already, you know. Yes, definitely. Yeah, and all I'm the very, all three I'm, of the. I don't all, mean to cut you off. All the well, I, was, very, I was just gonna say all three prep and landing films. They they would have been nice still if they were like films, you know. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. But getting back to what I was saying, sorry, sorry that I, I um cut you off by it's, the way, bro. That's it's fine. And like I said, it, I know it sounds disappointing, but you know I was very, in my opinion, I was disappointed about this situation because it could have been a movie. And, you know, it would have been better if they do a movie than a short. Because, you know, it's so odd that I never had... I, I, I usually see shorts that have, like, a sequel and stuff like that. But, you know, I usually see uh, Disney films. Not the Pixar movies, but Disney movies has, like, sequels, like Frozen 2. Um, what else? I think only Frozen 2. And basically... I think the only... I think it's Frozen 2. Just Frozen 2, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, so okay, so, 
I think we we established it pretty well on this on the first uh, prep and landing sequel, and one more to go, which of course being the third one. And until then, you know, because this has been our review of uh, the first uh, prep and landing sequel. And th thanks again, Elijah, for joining me. And until we do the third one. My pleasure. Yes. Anytime. So stay tuned for our, our review of the third and final prep and landing short film. Uh, and do we? How do we rate this? How do we rate the second, the first sequel? The second movie, the second uh, sequel. Um, mm -hmm. man, I would say three, three stars. Yeah, I'll give it a seven, seven out, of, seven out of ten. So there you go. So, so those are our rate. Those that's how the, those are our ratings of of the first sequel of Prep and Landing. Um, let us know what you thought of our review, leave comments, give this, give this review like as always, and stay tuned next weekend for our review of the third and final Prep and Landing, uh, short. And yeah, and you're watching this on Christmas Day, so yep. So Merry Christmas to you guys, and any last words, Elijah, like saying goodbye and such? Well, I would have to say happy holidays, and enjoy your Christmas, and stay safe, and also... And have a have a happy, healthy uh, holiday season. Yes, very well said. And for me, we hope again. We hope you enjoyed our review. And uh, yep, have a happy, merry, and safe Christmas. And we'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Again, happy holidays, merry Christmas, and peace out.